It's the Daily Talk Show, episode 864. Happy weekend, banter, Gronks. What's happening? What's going on? Jess, Lucas, Hi. welcome to the show. Thank this you. Is 97. Hello. Yeah, how are Happy you, Sunday. Saturday. <sighs> Saturday. Get, Get it right. 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 Um, uh, Jess, you've changed your um, bio on Instagram. Congrats. Oh, jeez. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah. Hang on, wait. Can I be yeah, the I one have. that reads it out? Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, yeah. no, I'm not going to yeah, be able sure. to. What's your... <laughs> Jess, it's great annoying. Pickup. It's got underscores and things like that. I think it's underscore Jess underscore Lucas underscore underscore. underscore. Mm-hmm. Jess. Getting Jess close to that thou. I remember when you first started with us, you just wanted to hit over 800 followers and you're uh, 933, I believe. Oh, wow. This is big. Tell okay, me tagged me in something the other day and I got quite a few followers. Congrats. That's okay. Huge. So Thank her you. new Insta bio is Jess Lucas, a.k.a. And then she's put a hot dog emoji. And then she has something. It's like enthusiast. I don't know. What What are those little lines? What's that line? What are those lines? <laughs> Do you need mate? glasses? No, what is it's it? It's a flamingo. It's a, um, it's a flamingo. Yeah, that's right. Oh, dude. I was going to say pelican. It's, it's <laughs> Why so do you like flamingo so much? <laughs> No, no, no. Go on videos. your computer. The thing is, when you're in Chrome on a desktop, oh, no. it doesn't show the flamingo. So, currently... Oh, no. You haven't bug tested a bit your bio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you've got a little microphone, uh-huh. the Daily Talk Show and Too Much Tally. Which what I appreciate is company. the... Um, Com. Uh, the big media company website. You put the dub dub dubs on there, like just in case people weren't on the World Wide Web yet. I mean, who's who's still doing dub dub? Why? Oh, I don't know. You can just type big media company. They work without it. Yeah, yeah. I had an old guy. A lot of problems. I had an old guy on my radio show up in Shep, and he said all the W's, and then he read his yeah address out. All the W's. I was like, wow, that a lot. It's is it more to say all the W's? But I paid it. Yeah. God, it was good. Yeah, great. All, all I the mean, I did... Um, Mine's coming up. No, I, yeah, on TJ, your, I don't know what you're talking... In Chrome, it works. I'm in Chrome now. Update. And in Firefox. Bizarre, huh? Bizarre. Mm. I'll screenshot it for you guys. Okay, good. Can you do a little Loom video explaining? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Explain it all. Yeah, great. yeah, no worries. Mm-hmm. No really worries. Helpful. Um, Sevs, what's, what's happening with you? Uh, not too much. I'm, I'm excited for our clay kit. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I think I spoke about it on Wednesday. You did Wednesday's show, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. And um, so I'm just getting I'm getting fired up for what we're gonna do with that. I don't I don't do? know I don't know what we're gonna make, mm-hmm. and I don't know how it works, what the process is, whether we need to add water to the clay or if it's ready to go now. But we've got the little spinny thing. So mm-hmm. Saturday, can you show is it the manual spin though? Or uh, no, I can't. Hang on, it's in it's it's in the it's still in the box that it got sent to us That's in. Fine. So I haven't actually opened the. The box from from the post, but is it manual? It's suggested? it's ten it's ten kg, and oh. it is a manual spinner. Yeah, it's not it's not automatic. That's it's just great. a so it's a you lot. Of, it's a lot of clay. Mm. It is. <laughs> so Maybe you can make us little desk ornaments <laughs> for when we go back to the office. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a bit shit though. Yeah, well, I don't know if you'd okay. want that on hey, your desk. Back yourself. Mm. But also, it has to be. It has you have to pay for it to get put in a kiln. Kiln, kiln. Not sure. But the, the thing is, Mace, the, the annoying thing is you've brought up the clay story. This is why we only have you on Weekend <laughs> Banter now. Because you haven't I, actually brought anything new to that clay yeah, story. <laughs> like, unless you're just no. trying to really push the brand value that you're the clay what? guy. Can no, you man, show us the clay? clay? What, what's the difference? What? What's the actual no, fucking I update? Have to, I have to undo it. Can you ask No, Grace? what's just Grace in case around? people have... Uh, am I allowed to open up the clay? Is or okay? is it like when you, you open it and then it's gone dry? You can't. Is it sealed? Like? Maybe it's in a clear bag, though. He can just yeah. He'll be up. able to hold hold up the bag. But I remember that. Do you remember uh, in school playing with clay? Oh yeah, the smell. Yeah, the smell putting of the thumb. I want to do it. Cl- I want to do it. Here we go. Yeah. What, what were you putting your thumb in, Josh? You'd put your thumb in the clay. Like you, you'd have to cr- create a bit of moisture, and so you put a hole in it, and then you put water. Remember that? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And then you rub the little. Oh, fuck! Yeah. Get a bit smushy. Oh yeah. And then you had the. Oh the no, 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 no! I can't open this. Uh-oh. Uh oh. I would just say this is the the worst packaging because it's like it's hard. Is that the clay paper. in there? No, no, no. It's hardened paper, but they put like dry oh, paper mash no. in between. And so yeah. when I open it, it goes everywhere. It's like newspaper, uh, it's like sort dust. of. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah it's like sure. Mm. Okay. Okay, can't um, do Josh, that. Josh, were you across Yakbacks? 
Yak back. Let me guess what it is. Yak back, yak back, yak back. I guess a yak back is like a um, something that you would drink out of that would go onto your back. Um, nah, nah. I can't believe. Maybe you were. Maybe you were a bit young. Like maybe they were the bean back bag end. type things to be able to like kick around a yak back. Nah, Tommy, I don't that? know what that is either. I, I knew you're close. I know you're the same age though. Maybe it was a couple of years yeah. off. Yak back is a line of handheld electronic voice recorder toys developed by Ralph mm-hmm. at Team Machina for Yes Gear. And anyway, so this was like in the mid to late 90s, mm-hmm. several versions of the toy were developed, which included the Yak Back, Yak Back 2. I did have Yak a Yak Back. Warp. Fuck, that's a... Man, that is a blast from the past. Isn't it? <laughs> yeah. This is... I want a Yak Back. I wonder... <laughs> that, I reckon they're expensive. I reckon you yeah, can get yeah. them on eBay. Oops, eBay yeah. Yak Back. Like these will cost... Because you can't get... Oh, imagine one getting one in the packet. 20 bucks. 20 US. So, a oh. yak back, it's got like Company buttons. Card. It's got... Definitely. It's got buttons on it and you can... The idea is, TJ, that you can record things and then just play them back. Yeah, but it, you can warp the voice. There's a mm-hmm. bunch of... There's a, du- a bunch of um, sort of fun uh, filters. I mean, yeah. we do have like probably, you know, superior technology right now, but there's something mm-hmm. about that little handheld... Just well, to be able to just do a little... Remember remember doctors used to... Did you ever see a doctor just talking to his little dictaphone? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Recorder, yeah. yeah. Yeah, little... Yeah, just, okay. So, um, Mason has some kind of red <laughs> spot on his penis and I'll have to... <laughs> <laughs> but, like, they, they would take notes and then they would be s- transcribing that shit. Yeah. That sort of went out of fashion, didn't it? Like, I feel like yeah. I wonder what the deal was. Otter AI. <laughs> just the transcription service. But they, I mean, they also had the um, – do they still – I haven't had a wooden uh, sort of uh, – well, like an ice cream stick on my tongue for many years outside oh, of, yeah. your, you know, eating ice creams. But do, do they still use them as a way of pushing down your tongue? Yes. Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. They do. For, okay. for kids. I mean, you haven't been to the doctor in six And so why aren't they doing it to, to us? Or they do do it it's just because they haven't been to the doctor's? I think half the time it was because kids couldn't Put actually lower their tongue. Okay. As you get older, you know, your tongue your tongue manoeuvres become superior to mm-hmm. a child. Oh. Mm-hmm. So, you can, you know, oh, you just I can drop my tongue down at the back. Oh. Mm-hmm. I actually can't. I'm like really bad at that. Like the dentist will say, can you put your tongue down? And I'll think I'm putting my tongue down. They're like, that's up. I really struggle to, <laughs> to do you know get, what ha- get the right way. Is there any tricks, Jess? Can you do like um, a four leaf clo- a three leaf clover <laughs> with your tongue or anything like that, Mike? Or um, no, oh, that um, mm. okay. There's that's- something about people. There's not everyone can do that. <laughs> tricks. The four leaf clover is when it goes <laughs> all crinkled. Three yeah, leaf. three leaf. Um, so it says start with the tip of your tongue behind your bottom teeth, push the middle. Of your tongue down <laughs> while pushing forward. This should create a fold along your tongue just above your teeth. Who's not doing that? Hi at the daily talk show.com. We'll send you out stickers if you can't do it. Because <laughs> <laughs> I feel I bad reckon, for you. Sim- sympathy no, stickers. I can't do. No, sorry, sorry. But I, the three leaf clover, clover okay, no, Josh. No, no, not that one. Not, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but being sorry. able to. Yeah. I mean, Bodie even does the. So we st- are we send any stickers if you can't do the um if you can't just do the tongue thing like what I'm doing now, which is just like your tongue out and it's just sort of like folded. So if you folded can't do that, order. sympathy stickers to you. Just send us an email hi at thedailytalkshow.com and we can sort that out for you. We'll limit to five people just so it doesn't get too hectic. <laughs> what um, do you think about um tongue rings? I mean, Jess, have you ever thought about getting a tongue no. ring? Uh, no, nah, just because of the pain. But I feel like back in the day they looked cool, yeah. Or is that just a? Uh, my mum being well, a dental yeah. nurse, she was very. She's like, <laughs> they ruin your teeth. Teeth, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they and um, also like you could lose your sense of taste and things like that. Apparently, and also. Oh yeah. Imagine the split. Have you guys seen those the tongue oh, splits, yeah, yeah, the snake yeah, yeah. tongues? Uh-huh. There's a bunch Does of. Does anyone else's that? tongue feel weird right now? Like after, like it's like strained or something from doing that. No, no, mm. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I do my, my tongue, tongue work out tongue every strength. morning. Yeah, <laughs> that sounded yeah, yeah. bad. Mm. That sounded real bad. Um, no, but <laughs> it's like the uh, the ear ho- What are the ear holes? The the um, how you sort of like start pushing it out and you go further and further and it creates a actual circular Stretcher. hole in your earlobe. Oh, sure, Stretcher. okay, 
Yeah. I mean, that's a commitment, yep. isn't it? Mm-hmm. Like once yeah, you've I used gone to love there. boys with those. Yeah. Did no. you? Why? Really? Yeah. yeah what was it? Because I, yeah, I was like an emo kid, like punk. Nah, I don't know. Just like that whole aesthetic, I suppose. Mm-hmm. You know, what they had like it? the big, this, I don't know. Like they always had like the, the black emo fringe hair, <laughs> the big things, tats, skater shoes, like. What Just about when five, the, you know? the stretches were out? Like the thing is they oh, look okay pathetic. when they're like they're, they're black, but it's <laughs> just like a shriveled up. Out. It looks like some sort of, you know. Yeah. So are they just worn? Do you, if you get one, do you just that. wear them all the time? You just can't well, take it yeah, out. Yeah, I think you have to. Yeah. I mean, you can get them night. cut and re-sewn up if you wanted really? to really fix it. Yeah. Really? They do the, that now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the best thing to do is just not to do it, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Oh, dude. Oh, uh, dude. Have, have you got any great photos? Well, of you, gross. Have you got any photos, Jess, of yourself in that emo period that we could share on um, your company bio? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I'll see if I can dig some up. So, what do you mean? Like, when you talk about the emo thing, is it like going to gigs where you're really into sort of like drummers and stuff? Yeah, we used to go to the um, the old fire station is where all the gigs happened. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, Battle of the Bands. Do you recall them? Oh, Do you, oh, yeah. Did you have yeah, I was a um, yeah. I was a band manager for the band My Own Enemy. Uh, <laughs> they had tracks like uh, We'll Smash Your Fucking Face. Um, yeah, see, that's the kind of shit. And I didn't enjoy that kind of music. But, um, Screamo, no, so, so you didn't like Screamo? Was, no, I love Screamo, but that those lyrics sound disgraceful. We'll smash um, your fucking face! <laughs> so you wouldn't have liked that? No, I probably would have at the time. Okay, yeah. But so my boyfriend was in a band and uh, he used to go play at all these um, gigs and whatever and it was just a scene. And you know when people were in that mosh pit and everyone would like spread out and mm-hmm. it was like the pit of oh. death or whatever it was called and everyone's like fly kicking and swinging it their arms and legs like- around? It's horrible. It's it looks uninviting. You know, I couldn't think of anything worse to be honest. Mm. I get <laughs> it though. I get it. In the in uh, Dandenong, there's a place called the Castle where they would have all of those events. It was just near the Pancake Parlor, and uh, <laughs> uh, inter- yeah, yeah, interesting, interesting sort of uh, scene. Not one that I ever really felt comfortable in. Do you think there's a period of time where you're going into? an emo phase or if that's what you want to go down where or okay any of them so there's like a guy I went to school with who um, lent in hard to that bikey look not the not the gangster bikey look but the old sailor like type leathers. you know like old um, you know like the old tattoo um, you know the anchor look where mm. they've you know you've got like all these sort of they're just like coloured tattoos all over you. He bought a bike. He sort of rolled up the bottom of his pants, had sort of Popeye docks look. on. Yeah, Popeye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. It, the kid who did it, though, was also the one who lent hard into the Nike look when he was young. He got into the art scene. Like, mm-hmm. it was always one that sort of <laughs> lent hard into it. And there's a period of time before, like, I feel like you're convincing yourself that it's the thing you want to do and you probably feel like you're... So, not self-conscious, but you're conscious of, I need to look the part before you become the part. Yeah. You know, when you're in the emo culture. Is there, I mean, I haven't gone close to it. You just sound like you're, you know, the only expert out of us. Is there a moment <laughs> where, you know, the person who's done their hair to look really emo? So, you're like, posing, yeah, are, you, are you accusing them of posing at the start, TJ? Well, well, I that's think what they used to call them, poses. Poses, okay, okay. yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. I'm, like, all I'm saying is any of this stuff... Mm-hmm. If you want to become the guy, the girl that does a certain thing, there's a period of time before it feels totally aligned. Uh-huh. Like, so you might be rebelling at first where you're feeling uncomfortable, but then you're like, boom, you hit a sweet spot where you, you don't feel those feelings anymore. I just think any of these uh, subcultures that you get into would have that feeling, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I remember having a conversation we were at my grand and pop's house and um, I was with my mum and it was that phase when I was probably entering into it maybe and this is so, so embarrassing <laughs> and makes you probably don't even know who they are but I was listening to Simple Plan thinking yeah. that I was like That's this great. big rock chick and then they were my like gateway into that kind of music as well as my boyfriend at the time. 
Perfect yeah, is one of my favourite songs yeah. of all time. It's a good song. I'm not even joking. Love Perfect. Did you go oh, to their gigs? Atlanta's so lame. No, no, no. I didn't. I didn't end up. What's lame about so them? Lame. Hey, what's what's lame? Good music. Ah, uh, because then I got I got real heavy. Like I was like full screamo, full emo. Like uh-huh. I went through a proper phase of like real kind of like. But isn't that like the hierarchy? Isn't that funny that it's just yeah. like the first the f- the phase that you get into? Like there's a point where you can't even talk about it anymore. <laughs> yeah. If anyone knew that you listen to Simple Plan, they'd be like. I mean, the thing so is, li- yeah, listening on. back on screamo music now. So, just is it? Would you feel nostalgic listening back, or is it too much to? Even I still listen, listen back to it to? occasionally. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you I a you're playlist. a total sort of out. You, you you told us around the office that you what were you the um, folk music girl? Folk. <laughs> oh yeah, that's my go. Oh, no, I have the most eclectic taste in music. <laughs> It's like I yeah. love old school rock and roll. Like I love to go to a pub and just listen to that stuff, like American Pie and whatever. Uh, Jesse's oh, girl, great. Oh. and then American Pie is a great song. It goes for like nine minutes or something. It's a bit long, yeah. isn't it? John McLean. And then I've got my okay. emo music, and then you've got your pop, and then your folk, and then what else is there? Like I love eighties like music. Trance? No. Okay. So I don't like disco, techno, that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. I get that. You like ABBA though. <clears throat> Yeah, that's not sure. Oh well, well that's no, disco, disco. You said I don't. Yeah, <clears throat> I just wanted. Some I meant disco as in like My literally going down to one six one. And I so, can. as an adult, um, depending on what scenes you're knocking around in, I could imagine sort yeah. of you've worked in agency life. Like you can predict what kind of people work in these businesses and the music that they're into, right? It's um, and so how do you, do you? Is this a hidden little? secret for yourself that you bring like to you know you, you choose when you bring out the screamo is this what is this what we're finding out it's um i probably wouldn't play it for you guys uh, it's just sometimes when you're like you know driving or you're just walking and you just want to listen to that kind of music i don't know had a big Do you guys day at have the agency <laughs> and you fucking need to let it a bit let a bit out don't you <laughs> just yeah. a bit of screamo yeah. yeah it's the endorphins going no i mean it's safer to I'm say like, i'm into folk around an office you're like it's like folk and everyone's like cool and then they move on with their day Mm -hmm. you know it's like doesn't cause too much of a combo Mm -hmm. guys can i just say the 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 um, biggest sort of gesture of love just happened so you heard my throat getting a bit croaky it's because i can't i don't have any fizzy water at the moment because brie separated them in the fridge and put a sign for mine and hers because i was drinking too many and she's just heard me struggling to talk and went and got one of her cans love and right. has given it to me, which is huge. This is massive. I'm you I'm were out. Josh. Josh, you. Were <laughs> I watched. Um, what's that film? Seves. I know you will know this one. Um, it was directed by Angelina Jolie. Uh, Honey. It was broken. Amy just yelled that. Now that's broken. love. That's <laughs> assisting my content <laughs> by yelling out the name of the film. Broken. <laughs> and it's about um, World War Two. Um, cap these, you know, pris- prisoner of war over in uh, Japan, Asia. So anyway, these people were. <laughs> now you're just asking the, 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 the long a story now. short. The long story short is mm-hmm. they went down in a plane, and this is back in the day. They had a few life rafts. Three of them survived in this life raft. They had limited food, water. So it's like amazing that, that in these planes they just pop out these life rafts, and inside they have just these little care packs anyway they lasted 40 something days this is a true story 47 days something crazy like that anyway that is my worst one- nightmare oh dude sharks Plane crashing and they're being stuck in the ocean with sharks that is Shark- honestly my worst nightmare. sharks no shelter mm-hmm. like not enough water they started eating they tried to eat a seagull they spewed then they started catching fish they grabbed a shark and beat it up and stabbed it and ate it mm-hmm. um, wow. but anyway they survived and then were captured but there was there was one guy on the boat that when everyone was asleep, he got a bit emotional and fucking ate all the food. And that's <laughs> you, Josh. <laughs> that's funny. Absolute, the absolute dog. Yeah, that's not absolute ideal, is dog. it? Just the thing is, I feel on. like I would do that, but it wouldn't be the same way. Like, I think I'd be like, oh, I'll just have one of their things or whatever. But then you add it up to 40 days. <laughs> it's like, where's all the shit gone? But th- that actually reminds me when I was a kid. I don't know if you had the So there was two areas, two types of food that I got as gifts, which were um, very novel. 
They didn't necessarily taste great, but I thought I was so cool. The first one was astronaut food. Someone oh, went yes. to, to yeah, like yeah. NASA or whatever, and they um, it's like dried strawberries. Dried food, yeah, yeah. Do, so, do you, anyone else remember this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so there was that one. The other one was someone in the army, and they gave like all these tubes of Vegemite. So it's all like army color, like green. And inside it was veggie. Does anyone anyone no. have that? No. no. But it I wonder who putrid. gave it. Yeah, but it was like, yeah, it's very weird because you, you feel like- but Novel, yeah. Yeah, like I there's a what, novel. Um, novel the, the novel food I got sent, um, having having relatives that live overseas, you know, you have sometimes access to different types of food. Australia, mm-hmm. you know, has its way of eating. And then you've got somewhere like England. Jess, you've lived in London. Is that right? You've lived in London? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, um, my cousin lives in London and he sent, I never forget, this this big tin. It's probably about 30, 40 centimetres high. And inside this tin had three different packets of flavoured popcorn. Mm. And now this is back in the day. Flavoured popcorn was not a thing. The only thing, <laughs> there was normal popcorn or there was that fucking colourful asthma inducing popcorn. Mm. That was the only two. And then oh. this was I so. Was what's the difference between blown. the one that you're talking about and the asthma-inducing one? Well, the, yeah. So that the, they are the they were the two types. But what blew blew me away was, oh my god, there's popcorn out there that uh, d- flavors like other packets of chips. You know, you got like barbecue flavored uh, okay. popcorn. Yeah. You've got you know salt and vinegar flavored popcorn. They just hadn't gone harder. Like you look now, there's more popcorn on the shelves. Mm-hmm. There's more flavors. You got these crazy wacky macadamia and honey or you know salt and vinegar yeah. or wh- salted whatever but like caramel popcorn is great the cheddar yeah, ones are dude, the best oh, cheddar was good, dude isn't it? that was i was so blown away by this popcorn and i had this tin for probably five six years Might actually maybe even more i think it had toys in it but i was like that just reminded me yeah. every time i saw it i was like mate those london those englanders there's I something about the the popcorn. cheddar popcorn that whenever i'm eating it I connect it right to the factory. There's something that's so like uh, bright about it and sort of filled with flavour that when I eat it, I imagine like someone with a lab coat and then like processing it all and putting it on. It's it's so delicious. All right, let's do flavour association. So last Mm. night I- um, So how do we play? May have got got stuck into uh, Reese's Pieces Mm -hmm. and I immediately thought of our trip to LA last year. Sure. Mm -hmm. And it was very- you know, it just took me right back. Mm-hmm. Took me right back. I thought of you first, Josh. That's nice. It is. If if Josh was a flavor, he's Reese's Pieces. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> no, I I agree. I think that's spot Jess, on. Jess, what's one thing that you eat and it takes you back to a memory? Corn beef. A oh, corn beef. Mm. Bendigo. <laughs> <laughs> it takes you right back. <laughs> to my grind and pop's house. Oh yeah, that's nice. Yeah, corned yeah. beef is a is an interesting one, isn't it? The colour isn't like my mum loves corned beef, it's but it's just what is it? It's like a it's like a <laughs> it's what is it called? Um, is it silver side? I don't. You like pickling? It's not pickling. What's it called? Like you're um. Isn't it silver side? What is silver side? Is that that's just the Hang type on. of meat? Is it? I thought that was the cut. The cut, yeah. So that's the cut, but then it go. It's it's almost. Um, like it's acidic almost, isn't it? Like they they use some sort of it's process. Hind quarter of a cattle, just above. Oh, I see what you mean. Like a Salt vinegar, like sorry, they soak like it in. Oh, what do you call it? Brine, brining? No, brining. Um, I think it is brining. I think you brining? mentioned it's salt. Yeah, salt cured. It's cured. Yeah, yeah, cured. That's what I'm thinking. Because when you think of cured meat, for me anyway, I think of you know small strips of meat. But this is something that's like in its. In, you see it in its Steak. entirety, right? It's like a big. Yeah. Big thing. And what would you have with it, Jess? It'd be in a sandwich, fresh fresh baker's delight bread um, mm-hmm. with Nan's chutney mm-hmm. and butter oh. and just like little slithers. And it was the, the best sandwiches. I still love them to this day. That does sound good. Is Nan still with one us? right now. Yeah. Yeah, she's at home in Bendigo. She's still, and you still chur- churning out chutney? No, nah, she hasn't. Oh. Mum took that over, and then she never made any this year. So she's really okay. dropped the ball there. But oh, mate, you can't she- t- pass the baton and not continue running. That's yeah, fuck. Yeah. I fucking yeah. know, Mum. Yeah, yeah. No, do you know what she did? She burnt the <laughs> massive pot, and so they're really expensive. She's like, I'm not doing that again. I'm like, Well, you've taken the baton. You have to do it. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna have to buy her a new one. So it sounds Sebs like an industrial grade that you're talking. If is it's there one for you, Sevs? 
that you love that um, brings you back? Yeah, it's not not as much as a food, but jet planes. Mm-hmm. We there. I mean, you can. I think you can get them in like Woolies potentially, but it just we used to have them when when we did road trips around New Zealand. We'd just have them in the car, and it'd just be the go to snack in the car. And then also um, Alan P, which is a soft drink in New Zealand as well, which is yum. What's a jet plane? It's 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 literally a lolly in the shape of a plane, sort of like a wine gum mm-hmm. kind of vibe. Oh uh, yeah. It's so yeah, good. Yeah. Josh is Josh is it's a bit random. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's <laughs> I was really proud of myself then because I was like when Jess said what's a jet plane, like my instinct is just to fucking jump in. <laughs> I was like, no, <laughs> this is Mason's story, you know. It's, but I do know about jet planes how they are yeah, very nice. Yeah. You can get them at Woolworths just in the um, <laughs> they're in the international section. <laughs> at Morrow. Oh, okay. Josh, I messaged you the other week and mm-hmm. said um, you need to watch Chef's Table Barbecue on Netflix. Oh, yeah, I haven't watched it yet. Dude, in that it's about, it's, you know, specific to barbecue and the, it follows a few stories of these different individuals that cook barbecue in mm-hmm. Texas. What's and, Mason laughing at? Other Someone's areas. getting a Traeger grill. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's- so, it's got like a few stories out of Texas, a, a story from Australia, a guy that's got a restaurant in Sydney um, mm. over in Mexico. Oh, dude. It's just using barbecue mm-hmm. to cook the specific food, but we, it, they, the the families that have passed down the the methods of cooking barbecue, it goes beyond just like knowing how to do it. It's like feeling it. It's like they don't know the temperature of their oven. It's all hand. They feel the top of it, and they just know. And there's this lady in it that's just so they start the episode. The season starts. It's only four episodes. But it starts just with the the greatest person within that show. Like it, they've just so you've watched the, them all. The best, I've watched all of them. I'm going to watch this tonight. Really I'm pumped. Really great. Like, get some good food. Mm-hmm. Watch it. The cinematography is yourself, next Josh. level. Well, the thing is, so you, Jess, it's a contentious issue because, like, I've for many, like TJ, can you? attest to the fact that I have been the barbecue guy around <laughs> yeah. wanting to do smoked meats and things like that. I reckon Isn't I've it? only started eating barbecue in my life since knowing you. Mm. Like just- What? Just, well, because well, the barbecue thing- so hang on, like, hang on, hang on. Barbecue. American barbecue. I think- Okay. Yeah, Jess, so like you're, you're thinking of snags. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're I'm thinking, thinking of snags. Indigo barbecue. Baker's Delight bread. <laughs> no, no bunning sausage. Yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> no, the barbecue is, as in, it's it's like, um, it's more sort of your smoked meats and things like that. But mm-hmm. because since I've wanted to do it, I've lived in an apartment. It's very hard to do. Mm. But I do, mm. what Mason was alluding to is there is a Traeger grill which is a um, a barbecue. Uh, I, I wouldn't get the full size because how much meat does the full size one? Oh, uh, I think it fits about 60 hamburgers on it. Yeah, 60 hamburgers, which I don't <laughs> need that much space. Um, and so there's one that's smaller and uh, it, it, has, uh, it runs off power. It has a um, – you fill up like the um, – like wooden – is it called um, pallets or what is it actually called? Oh, they, they are pallets. Yeah, yeah, yeah w- w- uh, wooden pallets and you uh, like different flavoured like types of woods yeah. and you put them into this uh, uh, section, like this vat sort of section and it just smokes. It doesn't actually have a flame, This these Traegers, Traeger grills and they're smart. So they connect to your iPhone and will tell you when things are ready and they do the bet. Like the, it's, I know Jess, you're probably thinking that this isn't like, yeah, this isn't barbecue, but this is legit. Barbecue. And so I actually barbecue. Did, yeah, the other day. This is your version of a barbecue. The no, this is like, one. but look at the guy. Like the guy's got a massive beard who like explains the, the how to use. Like this is legit. This is. I know that you don't what think it's name? manly or something. It's called Traeger. Traeger. Can you spell it, mate? Yeah. T- I heard you buy one of these. G E R grill. Yeah. Traeger grill. I heard you buy one of these and your testosterone levels go up. It's crazy. Like it's. And so I the other the other day, bro's like, "What are you doing?" And I'm on the balcony, and I had a tape measure, working out <laughs> if the Traeger grill would fit. And I worked out that I could have the Traeger grill, but it would mean if I was if I was to be standing uh, in front of it, I would have to be in the apartment, and have the door open, <laughs> which isn't a good, <laughs> isn't a good solution. But they're it's they're not um, great for 
but they're, they're sick. Like imagine, you know, having it's a- It's expensive as Josh. Yeah. What the hell? A few grand. But um, I mean, Mason lives grand? at home. Uh, like th- is it- two, 28. Yeah, this one is 199. You can uh, get so the, ta- uh, the tail. Oh, that's also a pellet. I, I think was this is also a pellet grill, which is 900. Uh, that's also is USD. It? So, um, yeah, it's it's pre- it's pretty full on. You'd be looking at two grand for a fifteen hundred to two grand for for one of them. But at that point, it's a hobby. It's not just about food. You can't you can't be like, oh, that's like if you work it out, that means you're paying X amount of meal. Like this is it's a lifestyle thing. Yeah. But what I wanted to say was, Think I would about l- eggplant on there. Oh, it'd be delicious. Yum, eggplant. Eggplant. <laughs> yeah. Eggplant. Yes. Uh, dance. The um, no. What I Duvet. wanted to mention. What I. <laughs> what I wanted to airplane. Um, <laughs> the jet plane. <laughs> jet plane. That's right. <laughs> um, the what I would love to do. I know it's going to be a while. We, we had said that we were going to go to Dubai for twenty twenty World Expo and all that sort of thing. That's obviously all on hold but when things do settle down let's give it five years mm-hmm. maybe three maybe two maybe Isn't two and a half think? it's crazy well, when do you think it's you're actually going to properly so the first people who are going to travel there's like a risk involved isn't there like who's going to mm, be yeah. the first like i'm sure that bali and fiji like all these places will be hectic right because i think that um they're uh, accessible they're they're not uh, not crazy expensive compared to like even traveling in Australia. So I feel like that's going to be a big one. But actually, mm. what I was going to say was, I would love when it's safe for us all as a team to go to Austin, Texas, yeah. specifically when South by Southwest is on. Yes, because they've got like I had when I when I was at mm. South by Southwest, I had meat uh, like for breakfast, like I had barbecue for breakfast. And they would give it, and the fucking there was a place. It was like under like a um, an overpass thing in the, like the worst sort of location. But that for ever, like you would get uh, barbecue for breakfast, mm. and then they'll be like, "Oh, and here is your free homemade brownie with it." Like it was the, <laughs> it's it's the most outrageous thing. And the thing is, uh, also I will just say on the the barbecue thing. It's it's not that, but if you uh, get rid of the like the mac and cheese and the bread and all that sort of thing, the white bread, yeah. the white bread, the or the cornbread as well, corn like bread. all of those. So if you get rid of cornbread, yeah. if you get rid of all that sort of thing, it can be a. Uh, I mean, if if you're an if you're a meat eater, if you're a veggie, this is horrendous. But if you're a meat eater, <laughs> the uh, like a, a barbecue, if you're not adding all of the barbecue sauce and stuff, it's a, it's mm. not a bad little healthy option it's if you like have a bunch of yeah. greens and stuff. What are they called? Yeah. Collard I think you greens. Invest what are, in it now. Well, I can't fucking fit the um, no, barbecue. You need in. to move to the burbs. You need to come out my way. Yeah. Get a nice backyard. Oh. But I feel like you, you should do it while it, you're young, you know? What, what do you mean? Forever. Yeah. See, this is the thing. Yeah. I need to create these. Like, does anyone else now, the feel problem like is, this? The problem is, the problem is, Josh, I think yes. you need to have had some success and found a bit of cash. Because you're the guy that will spend a whole seven hours of your day. Yeah. yeah. So, well, no, the thing is you like Marinated to leave and forget. You set and forget. <laughs> There's a set and forget type of thing. But no, does anyone else feel that the life that you have, like it's great, like life is great. But then are yeah. you also thinking about the the future version where it's like, okay, I'm going to have the, like think about the future version where it's like, yeah, I've got that set up. I've got the, and I know people say like that shit doesn't make you happy, but- it does. <laughs> it does. <laughs> yeah, it's just spot on, Mason. No, don't you reckon? Like, there is, there is a bit of happiness in being if you've like, it. If, if you've just like actually, because the thing is that I would actually prefer not to, like, the only reason I'm the Uber Eats guy is because, like, of you the, don't have the a conven- Yeah, we, I don't have a Traeger. But it's like, it's a convenience <laughs> thing as well. It's like the, from a, from a cooking perspective, it's like, this is what's always funny, like, Brie, um, uh, uh, I'm sure a lot of people are like this with Rebel Wilson at the moment. You know, Rebel Wilson's fucking slamming it, like smashing, you know, kicking goals, ISO, the best life. It's like when you can afford a, a fucking PT to come to your house and, and you have like the perfect chef, set. What is, yeah, personal chef, no excuses anyway at that point, right? Like why are we <laughs> Absolutely. like- Absolutely. And so that's why I feel is it's like 
there is an element of uh, when you think about all of these things, it is a privileged thing to be able to have the fucking time and the energy and the education and all that sort of thing to be like, oh, I'm just going to fo- focus on myself. I'm just going to fucking focus on, you know. Yeah, there's a there's a trade-off. Like you look at YouTuber Casey Neistat, you put it perfectly, he's like moved to New York 20 years ago mm-hmm. and New York is the place that, um, you know, rewards the hustle and it was seven days a week working. You're there just to grind which has shifted now because it's slowed right down and he's moved to California and he obviously, he made a lot of money. He got out of it and moved to California. But he's like, you see him from his videos talking about focusing more on his day of Mm -hmm. just surfing and and family and it's like, but it came at the expense of almost losing his marriage Mm -hmm. and probably not hanging out with his first kid or kids and you know much and and so it's like grinding to get to to get ahead to then scramble and find Mm -hmm. a a happy medium there's a sprint stage i think that there is there is that sprint stage and i guess if you if you're not careful like i love working though too i think that's that's the other thing i'm not like i'm not wanting to like get a solution where i don't have to work for me it's like but it's not even that it's not even that it's it's a version of life that is not needing as as much intensity mm-hmm. as one that is in the building phases. Like yeah. a building phase you of anything work when you want to work. That's yeah. what you want. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you yeah, want it's not like freedom and optionality. Um, yeah. Like if you want to go out and go for a surf in the morning and then start work at 12, you can do that. Mm-hmm. That's the dream. Yeah. Yeah. Or you just yeah, yeah. You want to take a few days off. Scenario. Oh, I love surfing. <laughs> do you? Um, no, uh, I don't mind. Just it. grilling till twelve. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, what would <laughs> yeah, I do? So I would all day. season my meat until twelve. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. I'll yeah. Start no, you just. But yeah. what if Josh, you mm-hmm. became, you did do the grill thing? This is the mm-hmm. thing about life. If there's something you think you want to do and you haven't done it yet, but then you do it and it changes your life. I'm not saying grilling is going to change your life. But the podcast did that for us. So t- two and, yeah, and a half years ago, yeah. we didn't have a podcast, and now it's like, yeah, it like. Yeah, I'm speaking to Bree, uh, Bree this morning just, and I'm just like, oh, yeah, I've got to do the show. We've got Screenplay Sunday. Like, there's this shit happening. And the thing is, it was yeah, like a small yeah. – de- these are all these little small decisions which then create these big changes. So, I think that people sometimes yeah. play into this like, oh, it'll never work. Like, it will never – but there's always a time where the people who are the best barbecuers, there is a time where they <laughs> bought the first barbecue. You know what I mean? It's just like, and so like the other thing too, is it sort of plays into like ageism a little bit where it's like, oh, what? So you get to a certain age and then all of a sudden you can't do shit. It's like, oh, you know, like you've had your chance if you haven't done that by this point. Oh yeah. It seems so fucking boring. That's bullshit. You sh- I can't wait till you watch this chef's table. It is uh-huh. so good. It's because it's got all these elements. It's, you know, mm. the guy that was told he'll be nothing but a barbecue you know, work in his parents' barbecue shop and then he ends up owning one of the most popular <coughs> winning awards. Like, it's so great. You're going to fucking love Bay? it. No, 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 no. No, no, no. This is um, a <laughs> dude. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good meme. Uh, Jess, you've given me some audio which I haven't played yeah. yet, which you wanted to play on the show. Do you need to set it up or what's Well, I, um, I have something for to put out to the team. Uh-huh. Um, it's mostly for you, Josh, to help you get back into the thing that you love to do and which might have also changed your life in the past. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so the challenge is October is Mental Health Month mm-hmm. and there is a um, – it's called One Foot Forward and um, you have to commit to a certain amount of steps. Well, this is good. Oh, God. Yes, yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. We spoke about this on Fat so, Fridays with uh, TJ and I were talking about – we wanted to do something in October that was some sort of health-related thing that wasn't being too silly. Well, here you go. This is good. Okay, so, go on. Okay. Okay, so this is what I'm thinking. Tommy, it's going to be yes. maybe a little bit hard for you to commit to too many steps, so I thought we could have two levels. I'm a big walker. Josh, you're a big walker. Huge walker. So, I think we can commit to more. Mm-hmm. And then Tommy and Mason. Mason, I don't know what you want to commit to. But George also wants to commit. He's in. Um, 
So I think we need to start our steps now. But Josh, if you hit the audio, I mm-hmm. feel like you've got your step count sorted. Okay, here we go. Tall Gronk, Peter Shepherd, and I would mm. do our weekly walk. We go to Uncle Drew's in Abbotsford. I was walking with Pete Shepherd the other day. Tall Gronk. Tall Gronk. Yeah. Uh, we went on a walk this morning. Had a little isolation walk this morning, Josh and I, mm-hmm. two meters apart. Yeah. I think walking is a great is a great sort of day. Yeah. I'd walk uh, ten kilometers a day. I'm a walking guy. I walk. Yeah, I haven't gone outside in weeks. The, the drama and you're the walking the guy. Thing, I, you're the and walking this, that's guy. the thing Brie keeps saying. She's like, you fucking love walking. Walking hasn't changed. It's still one foot after the other. Sunday, I did 490 steps yesterday. Do you remember when you set out to be the million steps in a month guy? Yeah. I have a book. It's yeah. called A Philosophy of Walking. It's all about walking. I went for a walk this morning. Oh, nice. That's was the first yeah, in the, first in walk the... in. Oh, so it was one month. I haven't walked, gone outside for a month. <laughs> I've got glands that are huge. That like I'm, I'm getting sick, or I am sick. Do you think? A ghost I mean, goes out once and I, gets COVID. I know, I know this is. Mate, I haven't. <laughs> uh, so Josh, to get you yeah. out walking. How many steps do you want to commit? I mean, the thing is that TJ is going to push back straight away when I say the number. I can feel it. Well, I'm always the one that will try and get you to do something that you stick at because Mm -hmm. you've got to learn from your mistakes. You are the million in a month guy that ruined it three days in. And we do have a business to run. Because I wasn't stretching. No. So, the thing the thing is... so It's the, more than that. You need a five hours of your day to be able to no, do no, the, no, one, no, the no, million steps a day. No, 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 you don't. So, but, you're, so if you were to look so at So, legally, a day, what are we allowed... We're allowed to walk... We're allowed to go outside oh, yeah. two hours a day? Two hours, yeah. But will that change from Sunday or no? Uh, maybe not. Oh, it depe- yeah, depends. That could... Well, so, okay, we'll so out. say 10,000 10, steps a day. Yes. If... Mm-hmm. if if that's set as what everyone should be doing, so that's 300,000 a month, right? It's huge. Let's push it. I want to so do 500,000 and then I want, to, uh, I want GB to do a parody song if I could walk 500,000 <laughs> steps on Hump Day Replay. <laughs> yeah? We all good with yeah. that? And so, Jess, Perfect. will you do 500,000? Yep. Yep. It's pretty easy. I want to challenge you. How many? Tommy, what are you committing to? Um, I'm thirty-one. So, so hang on, wait. Let's work. What is it? Five hundred thousand divided by thirty-one. I'd be like fourteen, thirteen thousand, thirteen, fourteen thousand divided by thirty-one. It's not hard. It's sixteen thousand. Sixteen thousand. Yeah, that's good. I was way off. A day. Okay. The sixteen thousand is easy. So I was. Oh, yeah, Look that's at your step count recently. It's, it's easy for a boss who just goes and does his own thing. No, no, but the thing the is, you can just no. But so think about it. So we need to look at it from an hour's perspective, I think. And so, um, how many steps can you do, Jess, in an hour? I have no idea. I will Mason? track it today, guys. Um, I've I've just gone on a step to kilometer converter. You're gonna Amazing. have to walk about twelve point two k every single day. That's fine. Jesus. That's that's fairly big. That's fairly that's big. that's so Which, adorable. Which I mean, but so pe- people to run. Beating Josh, so no. Look, have yeah, you got your Apple people, Watch? I do. Yeah, I don't have it on right now because <laughs> why bother? I reckon if you just if you committed to ten thousand a day, you'll beat Josh because you'll probably have three days. Yeah. Off okay. Well, let's have a look. All right. Well, let's see how we go. Hey. <laughs> Maybe I will do a so fucking starting- million. Maybe I will do a million. Oh, dude, I'm hoping. I'm I hoping. will do a million. And I hope you, know? you fix how you spe- speak. As million, well. I'm <laughs> saying million, right? <laughs> million. No, I'm, this no, is no, good. This is great. All right, so this when can we start Let's early? Sign us up as a team. Oh, uh, what if you, you use uh, early? So what? what is, uh, just, just quickly. So we we yeah. have in so I just in sit Discord here we've got then. the. <laughs> we've we've got the activity tracking app. So does it's this is terrible. I spoke about this on Fat Fridays. It's uh, I love Charles. Charles is great. Okay, so what are we using? Uh, um, so this is what's the question. Are we using best. Apple Health? Let's ev- yeah. can we use Apple Health to track it all? Sure. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yep. Okay. Great. Perfect. And then we log it. Because then, okay, and Josh, I probably I'll, need the new I'll Apple. Connect watch. you to my Apple Watch so I can see how you're going, or do you want to keep it secret? <laughs> no, no, no. I like the idea of that'll motivate how it's going. me. Yeah, yeah. Hang on. How do we connect? No, can you connect it on a phone as well? Uh, I don't know if you can actually the, the activity thing, but okay. um, we can we can work it out. 
That's all. There's got to be another. Although I think app it shows in in the when I've signed us up already, so once mm-hmm. it can all connect, so you oh, get good. to see everyone's good. Yeah. Can, do you think uh, Tully would and uh, Tony? We could get them involved as well. Yeah, we could get all of the Gronks if they wanted to. We could set up a yeah. thing. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm it's, fired up. Yeah, this is great. And so we all need to donate. What the record money, for the it's most for steps health, in a month? Is. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's for my mental health. <laughs> I don't need to donate. <laughs> it's for shit. everyone's I'm mental just... <laughs> health. <laughs> you get it. Yeah. Um, perfect. I, I'm great. fired up. I think. Like, Wait, have the... we heard what Mason Tommy's are? Yeah. What's what your what's what's your uh, step count? Um, well, at least three hundred thousand. Well, three hundred ten thousand. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm, Mace, what's an hour a day? <laughs> Can you, is there oh, something about working? seven? How many about s- seven thousand steps is an hour a day. Well, I'll do an hour a day. I'll do an hour of. You're going to do under the recommended walking in <laughs> no, your no, walking no, challenge. No, 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 mate. Uh, I'm the consistency guy. Consistency <laughs> like underperforming. Ten thousand should be the minimum. Well, to no. be honest, look, Trust I'm just me. going over my past, just literally in in my Apple Health, looking at my <laughs> current things. Current? And so, the week to date um, has been 1,500 steps on average. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's good. And so, if I do an hour 795 a day, that's amazing, steps. amazing, actually. What's mine? 1,500, that's nothing. I mean, Josh, you no, did 400 nothing, the other day. Yeah, so this is- 1,500 out of 10,000. Yeah, this is this is exactly what I'm what I'm banking on. Just consistency here, guys. But average the consistency, three thousand six hundred thirty-three. That's my average. And so, like, okay, here you go. On Monday, I did a big walk. I did a big walk that took me an mm. hour, and I was yeah. knackered. How many? Eight thousand five hundred and fourteen. Yeah. So if I have a look here, <laughs> so look at my activity. Uh, yeah, I felt I f- my, my hip Would you like to share with Jessica, days. Yeah. This is the thing. I, I know what it takes to fucking train. And it and if you're not doing it consistently or you don't ease into it, you you pull out three days in like Josh Jansen. No, well, no so, the, reason, so stretching, the thing is... So regardless. The, no, 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 no. What you I had the consider. idea of running 12K a day. I just... That popped into my head. I could just run 12K a day. You could run it. So the, but the thing is... Yeah, I know, TJ, but I haven't run in ages. Keep in, keep in mind... That the injury on the last one, which it was an injury, like I like I was trying to push through and breeze, like you're gonna actually hurt yourself, was because <laughs> I did three days of thirty three thousand steps. So I had I had yeah, yeah. done over uh, ninety thousand steps in three days, and the, and the Solid. thing was I was doing it all before work. I was doing it all before nine a.m. So I'd get up at five. And walk, yeah. and I was doing that. Well, like this, I wanted I mean, to do it every day. What we're outlining is not a is not an in a, in work time. <laughs> well, I think you could do work meetings. You can do calls. You can, do, you know. True, mm-hmm. true. I could probably take my MacBook while ed- editing while walking, just fucking <laughs> doing a few yeah. cuts. Yeah, it's a little bit harder, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think we need to start doing walking meetings from here on in. Yeah, I think that would be yeah, good. So I'm just having a look at the big days that I have had. How do, you, how do you say? Did you accept accept me? Just, I have, yeah, yeah. Just I'm press just a week to, and, to then, the health and then go. If, if, if we wanted, to, if we want to automatically track our walking into the the one foot one foot forward, we need to be using a Fitbit, which is out of the question, and so it leaves Strava. Oh, this is great, Josh. Go to your year, or you can ma- or you can log across, it manually. See guess, your average yeah, yeah. steps on, for each year. So, what's your 2020 oh, no. average steps for it's for the year? It's very for, strange, isn't it? Where do you see it? that? Mate, does, does Strava health? connect to your health, though? Only 2,300 for the year. I think it must, bad. surely. But then, um, how then do I go back? 2019. It's not, oh, it's not letting me Swipe go across. Back. Swipe across. No, that's not Unless right. you've updated your phone. No, nah, I think it's... Um, yeah. yeah, it doesn't have all the data. That's so annoying. I would have loved that. Because yeah. Bruno... Yeah, my like, daily when, average for a year is 7,142. Oh my god, solid. mine's three mine's three thousand two hundred and thirty four. Yeah, mine was shit ass sevs too. Shit ass, mate. Um, so you, anyway, I love this guys. Let's uh take this admin off air. Okay. And uh commit to the walking from October one. Bonus points if you start early or no? no Absolutely not. Because look, all kilometers well, so we're all just October one here will be then. removed until the event no. officially begins. No, get stretching, Josh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, very. Going to get the foam roller. 
actually yeah. starting more to more than that. <laughs> Why? Actually starting to walk before. October Why don't we all have a that? health expert that's um, uh, like a, a coach? I'll contact Laura Craig Henshaw. Harper's She'll mine. be my Laura Henshaw Craig will Harper's be mine. mine. So Craig Harper's well, yours. I'll have Pete. Smith, can I have okay. Pete? And you can Pete Shepherd. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Pete. Okay. Yeah, that's a coach. Yeah, Pete's a coach, and he he would suggest get, having a swim. Great. That's so we have right. our I'm coaches: Craig Harper for TJ, Laura for me, Jess has Steph, and uh, Sevs has Pete Shepherd. And so awesome. Right. All right. And so, how how are we going to get them though? That this is the issue. Well, that's oh, your, just, that's your problem. Yeah, yeah that's he, your problem. Just, I've got just, mine sorted. Or just <laughs> message. I've got mine sorted. <laughs> I'll just message Laura. Okay. Oh, we got to work out what we need from them. Is it just pump up? Uh, just motivation, Insta- to be honest. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or maybe I want, they I want, can join actually, I want no, to see Seth really fit, so I'm going to put my watch on her wrist. I I would love a pump up video from Pete. So you know, Shia Le- Leboeuf or whatever his name is, saying mm-hmm. "Just do it." Oh, I want Pete doing just, that. Yeah. You know? <laughs> by the end, by the end, I'm going to have Brie in the car filming on the side, like I'm David Goggins as Goggins. I'm running along. <laughs> Be hard, stay hard. You know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Be hard, stay hard. Uh, all right, guys, this is fun. I'm, I'm fired up. Isn't it funny? I haven't even done the steps. I feel better. I feel fucking light. <laughs> yeah. My back feels Mental good. Yeah. I don't need to do shit. <laughs> Who needs uh, need some magnesium spray? Yeah, ex- oh, fuck. Get on the magnesium. It's going to be like that. Uh, the marathon runner that shits themselves as they're going on the finish line. <laughs> um, all right. Enjoy your Saturday, everyone, and we'll see you uh, tomorrow. And a screenplay Sunday tomorrow as well. Um, make mm. sure you go... And subscribe to that, please. Mm. See you then. Bye. Catch ya.